and welcome to my channel. It's Rebecca, also known as a 4 kids at 147 And I've got some goodies to show you um, that I was kindly sent, uh, well, I was kindly allowed to choose some goodies um, to show you all. And this is from the website FG Normal, um, the company FG Normal. Um, I will pop links to everything that I'm showing you, but I do have two unboxings um, to show you from them. They've been very kind. Um, and yeah, this is the first lot of goodies. Um, and these are sort of more off the page slash tools. Um, the second video will be some diamond paintings. So there's a little bit for everyone, depending on what you like um, but we'll start first with the one that you can see so this one is a passport holder now don't switch off because we do know it's covid and not pretty much nobody can travel anywhere um i don't use these as passport cupboards um so um to show you this one is sort of a sun and a moon um and when you fold it you fold them in half when you're sort of done so you get to see a little bit of each on both sides but you basically get a design on each side and with it being the sun and the moon you could make them work either way up so that way for your front or that way for your front it's completely up to you um, but I actually use these to store my cover paper so I got some cover paper off um, AliExpress there's a few places that sell it uh, and I actually use half this size so I cut it in half and half of it fits perfectly in one of these passport holders um, so whether you use this wax paper parchment paper or maybe some of the opaque covers of other diamond paintings depending on the size that you like to work on sorry I'm just trying to get that piece of paper to go back on my pegboard and of course there's an avalanche of stuff because everything is everywhere at the moment um but yeah it is a perfect size for storing those and then it sits in my little diamond painting tools so i picked up another one of these because my daughter keeps eyeing up mine um and these are absolutely fantastic for that i find that they are invaluable um hence we had to have another one or you could put your passport on it if you manage to travel anywhere. Maybe get it ready for when you can travel. Um, but yeah, this is one of the items. Um, it does come with a basic toolkit, wax, pen, boat. Move that out of the way. I've got a tub now that I can just throw them into. Um, and it is like special diamonds. So not your normal flat bead diamonds. Ugh it's the rhinestone diamonds so to show you the basics first oh that's a nice color so that's like a coppery gold it's like a burnt gold burnt orange oh that's pretty burnt orange then we've got more of a brown color uh, we've got more of an orange we've got a few different blues so those are pearlized more pearlized blues and those are the rhinestone blues more rhinestone blues then we've got a couple of bigger rhinestone blues which seem to go mainly around where the moon is and then we do have a couple of bigger different shapes that go around where the sun is I'm trying to get it to focus so we've got one that's like a squashed oval and then we've got some in round so that is pretty that project will be worked on um, very soon and I will probably seal it when I'm done but yes got a passport holder or a cover minder cover paper holder in my case that is what I use them for and there's so many pretty designs I wonder which way around my daughter will have it anyway that's for her to decide. I'll pop a link to um, the passport cover. And then I've also got this intrigued me. Um, and I thought this could be very handy. So it's a little sort of tool caddy. So it's a little tool caddy with some bits in. Doesn't cost a lot from memory. 
um in fact let me just see if i can find um bear with me sorry i'm just scrolling through my emails there we go so the passport cover was 3.99 um and this was six pound 21 um so it does come with a ruler one of these rulers you can use to place round drills which i am going to give it a go and see if it helps um in getting them lined up perfectly um, and then what it also comes with is like three tools for like straightening you know for nudging or for straightening around the edge three different colors and I thought they could be quite handy. You do also get another adapter at the end. Um, it just, it's like fixing pens is what they call them. So I'm guessing the smaller end, if you need to nudge something, you know, maybe that's inside the middle or maybe to pick up a piece of fluff or something that's got stuck there. But yeah, three colors in those pens and they all fit into this little, little pouch. So I thought that would be interesting to give them a go and see how how nice and how handy they are. And then, last but not least, let me find my scissors. Well, it's not least because um, there is another another video with part two. But for part one, if I can get in it, we have. I've not seen these before. We have a jewellery box. So, my niece would love this, um, but she lives in Australia. Maybe I'll do it and send it to her anyway. Let me get in it. Here we go, here we go. It's, it's, it's going, it's going. Okay, no, it's not going, it's not going. There we go, it's going. Okay, we're getting in it, we're getting in it. So it, com it comes protected um, with this, which is very sturdy. And look, so we have an owl. So we have an owl on a jewelry box. Uh, it's like that faux, faux snake skin. Can you see the pattern? There we go, so it's faux snake skin. And then inside the jewelry box is all the jewels. And um, so you get a standard kit green boat, wax, pen, and some baggies. And then this is the jewelry box itself. So you've got a little divot here, and then you've just got little sections for you to pop a ring or earrings or something. I'm not even sure if you can see that properly. Um, I'm pretty sure that the website has a lot better image. It's black, so it's very hard to sort of show, but there is, there is lines here. Um, there is lines here that you can put stuff into and then there's a little square for anything that's too big. You can see the square, I just don't think you can see the lines. Um, and to show you the diamonds, so let's put, let's put the pretty part of the box down um, and show you the diamonds. And this was, oh, I hit new email. I didn't want to type a new email. This was 8 99 So, I say I'll pop the links for everything. So to do the plain ones first, we have some of the foil backed but black. We have some silver, two very nice shades of blue, pink, gold, purple, and like lemon. I call it more of a lemon colour, that one. And um, so we have those in the normal diamonds trying to make sure everything goes back otherwise I'll lose it um, then we have squashed oval I want to say they're not teardrops I'm trying to think what shape they are it's not my, my brain's not working today uh, but they're pretty and in silver try and get the camera to focus uh, we've got some white pearls we've got some red dots and then we have more silver or is that a different size? They're bigger. We've got some bigger silver. Um, and of course, where this peels back, that's still sticky, um, even though it got caught. Obviously, it's not caught on the cardboard. Um, but you peel that back, 
and everywhere that you stick something down is sticky but this part isn't that part is just printed but I thought that would be a fun little project and a gift probably um, I say my niece would probably love this just because it would be her special box for her special things um, but I'm going to pop the diamonds in there safely for now um, so that I've got them when I do this project so yeah that is the three well the first unboxing um, of some goodies from FG Normal so thank you so much to them um, I'm sure you will see many of these things or projects in the future as and when I get them done um, but thank you so much for watching and I'll speak to you all again soon